With the holiday weekend coming up, we're talking about fireworks safety and a warning from state leaders. Joining us now live in studio is Governor Spencer Cox. Thanks so much uh, for being here. Fun to have you in studio this late at night, Governor. Yeah, it's, it's great to be with you, Glenn. Hey, uh, you have a very serious message for our viewers tonight. Fireworks will become illegal starting tomorrow. What do you want everyone to know about that? Well, we, we want everyone to be extra cautious out there. Um, we, we know the, the weather is heating up. It, it's dry out there. We've had some water, uh, some rain, but that only lasts for a day or two. We're, we're in a severe drought everywhere in, in the state, and we need people to be cautious. Um, I, I would encourage people not to, uh, not to, not to use fireworks. We, we've decided to skip fireworks this year in, in our family, but if you're absolutely set on doing fireworks, please take every precaution. Make sure that you're not lighting them off where there's any dry grass, dry brush, uh, dry trees. Make sure that you have water at, at hand so that you can put out any spark that, that happens to, to escape. Uh, make sure that you douse your, your fireworks after you're done, before you put them in your garbage can. Uh, we, we don't want anybody to burn down their homes, burn down their neighbor's house, or, or start a wildfire that, that causes evacuations. Certainly, but in the event that that does happen, what do you want people to know? Well, we want you to know that you're going to be held responsible. Um, you mentioned a, a big fire in Millard County. We had one in Tooele County as well that were human caused. Uh, and, and the people that caused those fires will be held liable. Um, you could be held criminally liable. Um, you will definitely be held uh, liable for damages that take place. And these get very expensive very quickly. So, so just better to, to take every precaution, um, be extra safe, and, and make sure that you're lighting off fireworks if you're going to do that in places that, uh, where fireworks are legal. We have restrictions in many places throughout the state and in many cities, mm -hmm. so please check that ahead of, ahead of time. Uh, again, just be safe. We want our firefighters to have a wonderful weekend. This is a great time to celebrate. We have the best professional shows anywhere in the country happening this weekend. Go check out one of those. Governor, this is a plea you made for the 4th of July also last year. How has it been received now that we can look back on Yeah, it? we've been very successful. Utahns have stepped up in a big way. Uh, we believe, using statistics from prior years, that we had... Uh, 500 would have had 500 human caused fires that never happened because people were taking extra precautions. And we're, we're down this year as well. We're, we're well below where we've been the last two years. So it is making a difference. And it's not just fireworks, by the way. You're going to be out celebrating. Target shooting, be careful. If, you're, if you have a trailer, you're dragging chains, make sure you're not, not doing that, causing any sparks out there. Um, please, please, no, uh, no campfires if you're camping. Um, let's, let's make sure this is a great weekend for everyone. All right, another very important issue we are facing as a state is water conservation, Governor. Where do we stand right now? It's a dire situation. It, it is. We, we are still in extreme drought, um, exceptional drought in, in some parts of the state. We're a little ahead of where we were last year, which is good, but we've had multiple years now. We're in a 20-year drought cycle, and so our reservoirs are, are well below where they should be. So we need everyone to, uh, to, to be careful uh, to cut back, and Utahns are responding. Uh, I love driving around and seeing the yellow lawns. My lawn is, is yellow. The, 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 the lawn at the, the governor's mansion at the Capitol capital is yellow. People are really cutting back. Uh, we just got some data from, from Salt Lake County that showed that people have, have cut back uh, much more than, than we were even expecting and, and more than last year, which, which means, again, everyone is doing their part. Farmers are cutting back. Uh, we're making a difference, but we still have a long ways to go. Uh, you touched on this a little bit, but what is the government doing to cut back its water usage? Yeah, so we have some restrictions in place. Um, we've, we're, we're reducing our water use by 25 percent at state facilities. So, so that's a big increase. We also passed uh, about a dozen bills to work on water conservation. Uh, we appropriated, the legislature appropriated uh, half a billion dollars, almost $500 million to, uh, to help with water conservation in our state. And most importantly, we changed uh, a law that's been in place since the, the pioneers first came here over 160 years ago, mm -hmm. this use it or lose it option, which will allow us to get more water into the Great Salt Lake. So farmers and others won't lose their water if they don't use it, we'll be able to get it back in that stream channel and into the Great Salt Lake, which will certainly help there. Yeah, real quick, we're watching that dry up yeah. before our eyes. Uh, I know it's, you know, you can get impatient knowing that you did take steps to address the Great Salt Lake this year, but what else do we need to do 
to really get on this and see immediate improvement? Yes, yeah, so we're going to need additional funding, and we've been having that conversation with the legislature um, so that we can get more of those water rights and, again, get more of that water into the lake. Um, and, and people are excited about these changes. This is, a, this is a big deal. It's going to make a huge difference. We've also set aside, and, and we're hoping to get more money uh, to have farmers uh, help farmers reduce the amount they're using by using uh, new technologies. And uh, that's going to make a tremendous difference. And, and so we're, we're cautiously optimistic. We're, we're working with the federal government as well. Um, Senator Romney announced yesterday mm -hmm. that he's working with the rest of our delegation on some federal funding that can help us, uh, because this is not just an issue for Utah. That lake drives, dries up, that dust, it, it will go not just to Utah, right. but other states. So mm -hmm. we, we want to prevent that type of disaster and get on this right now. All right, Governor, really appreciate your time. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you, Glenn. Emily? Thank